What's up guys and welcome back to One Life Cars. Today you join me in the Suzuki Vitara for another tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to locate the fuse boxes. There's a couple of fuse boxes around the car and these are useful if you know you have a light go out and it's not the bulb. Any sort of electrical issue that's not an obvious fix is most of the time a fuse gone. So I'm going to show you guys where the fuse boxes are, roughly what each box controls, and then if you've got further questions about what fuse does what, you can send me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to help. So the first one we're going to show you is the exterior fuse box, which is located under the bonnet. So first thing we want to do is open the bonnet, which is with this lever down here under the steering wheel. If you stick your hand under, you'll find a lever and you can give it a pull and click the bonnet open. So I'll join you guys outside, we'll lift the bonnet up and show you guys how to find the exterior fuse box. Let's go. Right guys, as you can see here, we've got the bonnet open. And the first thing you wanna do is look at your engine, which is this bit here, and look to the right of that. Next thing you'll find is the battery, and just above the battery to the right, so the very far right of the engine bay, is a black box here. Now let's have a look at this black box and find the tab like that, you can press your finger in and lift up that side and then the whole cover, cover will pull up, revealing your fuse and relay box. So this exterior box will cover things mostly around the engine, electrical components to the engine, the front lights, things like that, things sort of in this area of the car and exterior things. I'm not sure about the rear lights, that might be on the inside box. Uh, but like I say, if you need to find a specific fuse, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. So you've got your fuses here. These big boxes are relays. And then if we look on the inside of the cover, this is a fuse diagram, which will give you a rough idea as to what does what. I mean, they're all in sort of code, if you like. So again, if you need any help, let me know. But it does tell you what fuses relate, what amp and stuff they are. If you have a little tool here. This thing is a little tool for picking the fuses in and out. So you can use that like so to grab a fuse and pull it out, put it back in because they're quite small and fiddly. And then you've also got a few spare fuses, which is quite useful. It's good as Suzuki. So when you finish doing what you're doing, you've replaced your fuse relay, you need to, you can pop your tool back in there and pop the lid back on. Try and make sure it's on properly to so try and keep moisture out, things like that. And that guys is your exterior fuse box and how to find it and work with it. So next I'm gonna show you the interior fuse box, the box on the inside of the car, which covers a lot of your interior electrics. Let's go. Right guys, for the interior fuse box, the cabin fuse box, I want you to go over to the passenger side, open the passenger door. And it's a bit fiddly this. You might want to put your seat all the way back, make a bit of space. I'm gonna go down underneath the glove box and look to the left and back up, revealing the interior fuse box. You can see that white board there with all the fuses in it. Now there should be a black cover on this, which has all the fuse uh, ampage is and a bit of a diagram on the on the cover, but the lid's missing because this yellow wire going in looks like it shouldn't be there. I'm not sure. Some it's been messed with, so the lid's missing on this one. But yes, this is the interior fuse box. This will cover fuses like your radio fuses and your window fuses and all that sort of good stuff inside of the car. Again, if you need to know a specific fuse, any details about it, give us a shout in the comments. I'll do my best to help. And that, guys, is the fuse box locations for the Suzuki Vitara. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, you like this sort of content, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.